Don't eat the frog first. Holy cannoli, life is hard enough as it is. Why tackle the toughest, hardest challenges that are already breaking our spirit and weighing our hearts down right from the very beginning? Holy cannoli, there is a better way and I wanna share that with you today. If we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller. I'm an energy alchemist and a spiritual life guide. And my goal, my mission is to help connect you to the sacred tools and practices that enable you to step into the life you were born to live. And this is a big one. So yes, the tough projects, they weigh on our soul. We procrastinate, we put them off. They drain us energetically, wah, wah, wah. But here's the thing. Let me share a little story with you about what happened with one of my energy alchemists students where she realized she could use this very wonderful secret recipe that I'm sharing with you today three simple steps to harness the energy of the moon and stop beating herself up and feeling guilty every time she walked by these undone tasks so picture it a busy entrepreneur she has a successful business she's getting ready to launch a new course she has two young children that she's shuttling back and forth from activity to activity she feels like she's in the car more than she is behind her desk she has clients that she loves that she gives all of her heart to she has a household that she's trying to manage for babies that need to go to the vets holy cannoli there's no time for her health or her well-being she's finding that she's not eating great she's not getting a chance to sleep well or exercise and she's at her ropes end and then she's got this check that she just hasn't mailed off yet or she has this email she hasn't responded to or the garage that she always walks by that is completely disorganized and filled with boxes while her car sits outside in the hailstorm. Holy cannoli. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm exhausted already. It's like, wah, wah, can't win for trying. There's this feeling of being overwhelmed and just like, where do I even begin? Well, here's the thing. Yes, we could just look at that tough task and say, let me eat that frog. Let me get this knocked out of the way with. But when our spirit is already hurting and already low, as my student was, she realized, you know what? I need a little bit of TLC. And she went to this very unique energy recipe that said, if I can utilize this unseen energy that's around me, maybe like the current of a stream, I can get to where I want to go faster when I go with that stream of energy rather than against it. So for example, you know, we have things affecting us all the time that we can't see, that we can't touch, taste, or smell. Um, you know, they talk about things in the water or in the air with some of these wildfires that have been happening or, you know, industrial things and the like. But let's boil it down. Utilize these unseen benefits to your advantage, your friends in high places, specifically what's happening with the moon. The moon has a big effect on people. It has an effect on the tides of the oceans. Ask any teacher when there's a full moon, you're gonna have a kid, a room full of unruly kids. Ask the doctors and nurses in the hospital. Both of my babies were born on full moons, holy cannoli. You know, ask um, the police officers. Things seem to get a little bit more wild. Ask the farmers. They tend to their harvest and they plant according to the cycles of the moon. The moon affects us. So my client, what she did was she said, all right, listen, I've got these things that are weighing me down, but what does my spirit need most? How can I step into the stream of energy and utilize the moon to help me? Because it's obviously affecting me in this process as well. So she took note that the moon was new. That's the first thing you want to do is what phase is the moon in? And my energy alchemists all have access to that, my inside of the moon journal. And in this journal, the first thing that you look for, I'll flip to it, the phase of the moon. And she knew it's a new moon. So with that new moon, she was already gonna naturally tend towards being a little bit more introverted and tired. She wasn't gonna have the energy to reach out and email back this person and answer their questions. So she knew, okay, well, it's a new moon. That's gonna change in a couple days. And as the moon starts to grow a little bit bigger and brighter, and it can be more visible and seen, I most likely will feel that way too. So if I can't drum up that energy to eat the frog and email this person right now, it's okay, it's a new moon. There's another way I could go about handling this. The next thing to take note of is what zodiac sign is the moon in? So my student knows it's a new moon, I'm gonna have less energy, I'm gonna be a little bit more introverted. 
and she looks up. What do these zodiac signs mean? And she says, well, the moon's in cancer. So I need, I'm craving more compassion, nurturing. If I can be self-nurturing and give myself a little bit of TLC, even if it's for an hour, sitting on the couch with her chocolates and her rom-com, what she did find was the energy shifted. She didn't even have to wait for the moon to get bigger and change phases or to grow out of the sign of cancer. The final thing is notice which element the moon is in. So these are our three things, the phase, the zodiac sign, and the element. And the element, how does that help you? Fire, earth, air, water. Well, cancer, when the moon is in cancer, it's a water sign. And water is about paying attention to your intuition and your feelings. So my client feeling all the feelings and being overwhelmed knew, New moon, I need to have some quiet time to step away from the world, to say, I've been there for my family, I just need an hour or five minutes to step away. I need to tend to my feelings, cancer. I need to be nurturing and compassionate to my heart and water. Maybe she takes a bath, maybe she drinks water, maybe she goes to the lake or to the ocean, who knows, whatever is close to her. Maybe she just simply watches a movie with water in it but she gives herself that opportunity to utilize the element of water to soothe her emotions, to feed her spirit. And as my client and student discovered this last weekend, she was able to, within that hour, shift her energy just by recognizing and saying, wow, I can work with these unseen energies around me in three simple ways, just noticing what phase is the moon in, what zodiac sign, and um, what element is that connected to so that I can shift my energy. Because yes, it's wonderful when we can wait until all the stars align before we make these big um, changes and eat those frogs, but sometimes we don't always have the luxury of waiting until the stars align. But if you can work with them rather than against them, you're going to find that things go so much more smoothly and you arrive to your destination in a much more empowered and efficient way. You're not wasting energy because when you're beating yourself up over those things you haven't done, your spirit isn't going to feel very motivated to knock them out of the way. You're going to want to try to ignore them. So first, take a moment of to notice the energetic weather. What's the moon doing? How can you use it to help you? That's why I created the journal. The journal is to help empower you to spot the patterns, the tendencies, to notice how the moon affects you so that you can say, wow, in the future, I know in this month, moon's in cancer, I'm gonna schedule some extra TLC time for myself. Moons in Capricorn, no problem. That's the no crying in baseball. We gotta get down to brass tacks and this is business, it's not personal. You know, they're very wonderful at saying, there's no use crying about it. What's that gonna do? Let's come up with a plan. And then the cancer energy is like, no, but I need to be with my feelings. <laughs> I say that with all love because my moon's in cancer, so I'm like the crying one. <laughs> I rely on my cancer friends to get me in shape and say, come on, pull up your pants and let's go for this. We'll find a plan. You're just wasting time crying. <laughs> but hey, if the moon's in cancer, take that time to cry. Eat your chocolate and then you'll find the tide shift. So if this has helped you, then definitely please share it with a friend so that they also can become empowered and stop beating themselves up. The world is a much happier place when we get out of that struggle and we get into joy. I love having you here with me, so definitely give me a quick hello. Let me know where you're watching from, where in the world, and I'll catch you all here next week at noon. Lots of love. Thanks for playing.